Hey guys, I definitely want to share the community day video with you, but because there was a bog where the tasks weren't actually working yesterday for a lot of people um, all over the world, I wanted to go ahead and give you a tutorial to get those war rewards as compensation. So WB is actually going to be compensating everybody and making sure that they get the rewards they deserve, which is awesome. Very good job from the community team. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and walk you through that process right now really quickly. It's not going to take but just a second. So what you're gonna do is, from your game map, when you're looking at your avatar, you're gonna go down to your suitcase, click on the suitcase, and go to the top left where there's like a cog or two wheels. Then in the bottom right where it says help slash legal, and there's a question mark right above that, you're gonna click report a bug, and then what you are gonna do is just click that contact button on the top right and then type out what your issue is. So make sure you mention that you were having problems with the tasks yesterday and that they weren't rewarded or because of the restarting or whatever it is that your issue was with those tasks. Make sure you let them know by reporting the bug and you will get the compensation you deserve. So that's all for now. I hope that you are able to get the rewards and all that good stuff. So here is the community day video. What is up witches and wizards and muggles and no matches? It is February Community Day, I'm so excited for all these oddities, the doxies, the horn serpents, the eggs, everything, the fortress bonuses, tonic bonuses, so many bonuses, uh, and of course, I am late. So we're gonna go ahead and get to the park and get right to grinding. I need to complete all of these quest steps. Uh, I need to get all these fragments. I need to stop dropping things, so let's get there and let's make this happen. So I haven't eaten today yet, so I'm gonna eat a sandwich really quick. And now I wanna to talk to you about why this community day is already a huge success. I'm in the middle of playing still, but I did wanna eat uh, something really quick and then talk a minute about how wonderful this community day, uh, day has been so far and how it's not even close to being done yet. So uh, here are a few things that I definitely want to say about today. Okay, so just so you know how important sleep is to me, I'm gonna go ahead and place this sticker in my registry. I have been getting oddities, runestones out of my nose, which is great. I'd like to get those three bows, but it's not gonna happen today. So I'm gonna place the doxy image, and as soon as all of that sweet, sweet progress is done, I am going to take this page to silver. So that's really exciting. A hundred freaking doxies is a lot. <laughs> Good news is they're boosted still today, so I've got a lot of time left, already leveled up, uh, which is great because I feel like my progress hasn't been wonderful lately, but I do want to go ahead and talk to you guys about a few things that are related to community today while I am farming. So one of the things that I've really enjoyed uh, so far is how cheap the XP is. So what I mean in saying that is you can find an emergency level threat anywhere in the wild at any time but you're not guaranteed that foundable. You're not guaranteed that fragment. And with these oddities, because it's a combat only sort of format, you are guaranteed XP no matter what, and it is super cheap. Most of these leprechauns and urklings uh, and doxies are one hits. If you actually, I think it's impossible to two hit a doxy. If you've ever seen anyone two hit a doxy, please, please let me know because I would love to see that. Uh, and of course, the, the XP being really cheap is really helpful. Um, something that I've always really enjoyed that they do for community days. My gosh, is my head really this massive? Whatever. Uh, so what a thing that I've always loved about community day is them putting spell energy on the ground. I think that this should be something that exists just in the game in general. I don't think that it should be something that they ever shy away from. It should just exist like an ingredient or like port keys or whatever. Um, to me, it doesn't seem to be that big of a deal or game-breaking, so I don't know why it's not something that they've considered in the past. So, um, Of course, like I said, cheap XP, making sure that's doubled down with Barufios. I'm 99% sure that I don't have one active right now because I stopped to eat. Uh, but this is just really good, and it's really fun, and I haven't even gotten to the Fortress segment yet of uh, today, of Community Day. I'm going to be meeting up with a lot of the players in our area, and I'm going to just be hanging out with them and, and seeing what they think about the game and seeing what they uh, think about 
this community day and, and, and improvements to the game in general. That's one thing that I really love to hear from other players because I spend so much time playing it and I get caught up in the news and I get caught up in the events and in the updates and all of that stuff. So much so that I sometimes just forget uh, you know, to really digest what's happening and then think about that in an improvement sense. So it's always really cool to hear from other players as well. Um, cheap XP, really good time with community building and in fortresses. And I mean, those fragments are just perfect. I love the port key idea. The Horn Serpent guaranteed fragments are wonderful. I have tons of them now. I'm going to be saving those to use those uh, during the next Brilliant event, which will start on Tuesday. Uh, to get past those port key steps pretty quickly so again excited for that and honestly like that it's that it, this is plain and simple there's nothing too crazy complicated about it the tonic for trace detection being cut down to 15 minutes boosting those spawns is great because 15 minutes isn't nearly uh, as daunting as 30 minutes seems i mean i know it's literally half of the time but when you think about it having your phone open and on you for 30 minutes is a lot harder than just saying you know what i'm gonna knock out 15 minutes here or i'm gonna knock out 15 minutes there so i kind of would welcome that permanent change because they're not changing the spawn rate and they're not changing the amount of spawns they're simply just allowing us to have uh, a way to really focus in and get as many spawns as possible on this community day. So let me know what your guys' thoughts are down below. I'm going to start, uh, we're actually going to finish my lunch, and then I'm going to start recording some other gameplay and other footage and stuff like that from these uh, rune stones, from fortresses with my friends that I'm going to hop in and do in just a little bit. So let me know what you think down below how this day was for you. Did you guys get tons of XP? Do you feel like it was a big success? Let me know all that stuff, of course, down below as per usual and montage. That was a freaking blast. Um, I love getting to play fortresses with people that I have no business knowing. It's just really cool to see the community be able to pull together. So I was able to get a few uh, red books, unlock a couple of skills, move forward in my profession. Getting closer to maxing out aura, um, admittedly. I haven't been able to play fortresses as much as I'd like, but I'm really excited to, to continue to go. This community today has been amazing, was amazing. Um, I got a lot of progress on my, my registry, so I'm really happy about that. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoy the content, got something of value, or just love hanging out, make sure you leave a thumbs up down below as well as hitting that red subscribe button and clicking that notification bell so you guys know the next time I produce a piece of Wizards Unite content. Things that are gonna be coming down the pipeline uh, will be March's calendar of events. There are several things gonna be going on in March that are really exciting and really cool too. It's just going to be really dope. You'll have to you just have to believe me and trust me on that. Uh, so I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for hanging out and watching. And until next time, peace.